Hello everybody. Galvin Tacos back with another movie review slash talk, I guess. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing Lamberto, Lamberto Bava and Mario Bava. Uh, father and son. Um, and his dad, Mario Bava, was kind of like the whole starter of the Giallo um, Italian uh, in movies. Um, and he kind of started... And I also think he's kind of started the slasher era, era too, or genre too. Uh, and the only movie I have by him, I recently just watched Black Sunday, which was I thought was pretty good. My wife didn't like it because it was in black and white, probably, and it didn't, uh, you know, I don't know. But she likes old movies, though. I don't understand why she didn't like it, but <laughs> she said it was confusing. But anyway, uh, I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, now, I want to see Black Sabbath really bad. Um... And so anyway, this is the only movie I have by Mario Bava, and I think it's really, really good. Um, it's called A Bay of Blood, which is the same um, thing as this over here. And the reverse side, even to my poster, is this. So, uh, this is the back of the DVD, or Blu-ray, package. And, uh, so, I'm going to show you the, it comes with a cool little, uh, real thin booklet, but it comes with all kind of little, um, facts about his movies and some other Italian director movies and, uh, how they, um, you know, had, uh, influence on other people. It's really, really cool. And this is the, uh, this is the, uh, the reversible sleeves. I really like this one. This one's really, really cool looking. And this is the Italian version. So, I really like this one. It looks really cool. Um, and I guess it was called Bloodbath in a certain country or maybe this one. I don't even know. But this is, that's the reversible sleeves. And, uh, Okay, now that I wasted 10 minutes trying to get, <laughs> trying to get the uh, sleeves in there. Um, and it's got a really funny ending, too, um, just to let you know. Uh, that's the, the Blu-ray DVD. And so I'm going to read what it is about. As soon as I get through messing around. Um, so it says, they came to play... They stayed to die. Um, see the film that set the slasher movie blueprint. Can you handle the terror of Mario Bava's giallo classic, A Bay of Blood? When a rich countess is murdered, it's a race to see who will inherit her estate. And you will, you can bet that the body count is going to rise rapidly in the process as the plot twists spin wildly out of control. The pile of bloody corpses is going to get higher and higher as one by one the mangled victims are hung, speared, stabbed, and macheted. Thirteen horrific deaths turn the screen crimson with blood. So yeah, it's got some really, really um, good special effects, especially for 1971. Um, it's it's really crazy uh, how they did this, did this movie, how they did this effects in this movie. So it's definitely one to check out if you like Italian um, giallo movies. So that's the only one I have by Mario Bava. Now on to his son. Lamberto Bava. Um, so, the first one I have is A Blade in the Dark. Uh, this is 1983, and it's a really, really cool um, giallo. It's really unique, uh, very different. Um, so, it's about, um, it says, when the, light go, when the lights go out, the knife goes in. Um, so, it's about Bruno who's uh, played by Andrea Ochi Pinti <laughs> of New York Ripper, the one I did on Lucio Fulci. Um, anyway, he is hired to compose the music for a new horror movie. 
and rents the an isolated villa to concentrate on his work. But when several beautiful young women are brutally murdered within the house, Bruno becomes obsessed with solving the savage crimes. Is a clue to the killer's identity hidden within the film itself, or is there more a more horrifying secret lurking deep within the dark? Directed by Lamberto Bava, uh, co-written by Dardano, Sacchetti, City of the Living Dead, and the Beyond, Lucio Fulci. This Italian shocker caused controversy throughout Europe due to its scenes of excessive violence. A Blade in the Dark has been transferred from original vault materials and completely presented completely uncut and uncensored. So, um, yeah, definitely unique. Uh, the story is, is definitely a good one. Um, and it's just really good effects for for even the 80s, too. So, um, let's see, I don't think I showed you. I don't know if I showed you the back or not. That one lady's getting her hand stabbed. <laughs> that's a really, that's a very um, crazy scene in the movie. Um, let's see. And inside just has a chapter selection with a knife. And then the Blu-ray has a, a knife, or a DVD. It's not a Blu-ray, it's a DVD. I couldn't find this one on Blu-ray at the time. And I haven't even actually went on there to see if they have it on Blu-ray now. But uh, it probably would be a good one to have. Um, now to one of his more famous films. Um, it's called Demons. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people may even know this one already. Uh, there was a Demons 1 and 2. And then it had a few sequels that were called something else. But were supposed to be sequels to this. But I don't really know what they really were. Uh, but this is probably some of the most creative special effects I've ever seen in a horror movie or yeah horror movie um, it was 1985 and um, so this one is demons this is the back this one says they will make cemeteries their cathedrals and cities will be their tombs from the minds of Dario Gento and, and yeah, Dario Gento helped uh, write the screenplay, and I think he helped do some of the special effects in this movie too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, comes the horrific heavy metal splatter film classic *Demons*. Um, a strange masked man offers tickets to a horror movie sneak preview at a mysterious metro, net, Metropole Cinema. When a patron is accidentally scratched by a prop displayed in the lobby, she transform, transforms into a flesh-ripping demon. One by one, the audience members mutate into horrible creatures hell-bent on destroying the world. Can anyone escape this gory orgy, gory orgy of terror? Uh, features an amazing soundtrack of 80s rock heavy metal by Billy, Billy Idol, Scorpions, Molly Crew, Accept, Saxon, and more. So it's got some really good music in it. Um... And it's just really crazy. Like the whole, like soon as, soon as everything starts happening in the movie, like the people start turning into demons, it's just crazy. Balls out craziness. Uh, there's some really crazy special effects. Like they show the people turning into demons and stuff. And it's just so weird how they did that back then. But if you watch the behind the scenes on it, it's, it's just so crazy and inventive, so creative how they did this kind of stuff. And uh, so, yeah, that's a really good one. The second one is good, but it's not as good as this one to me. Uh, and they even play, they even used a lot of the same actors and actresses that died in this movie in the second movie, which I thought was kind of funny. And um, he has some other movies. One's called, I want to say, what was that one called? Uh, Macabre. I still want to see that one. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. I still want to see that one. Um, and he's, he's done some other, some other ones too, and I can't think right now what they are, but, uh, I think this is one of his more famous ones is Demons. So anyway, that's, that's, the, that's all I have today for those two, uh, people. Um, and I think I have like a few more Italian directors to do, but I only have like one or two movies of there so it's gonna be a really short video <laughs> so uh, I'll probably put them all together so thank y'all for watching and I hope y'all are enjoying my content and I'll see y'all next video